Uh, it's Anthony again from Hypercubby. Uh, look, I've got something else uh, to show you uh, today. It's a, it's a lovely day and a great day to actually take a look at, well, look, it's actually a pretty standard um, uh, flat QB plus EPS. We'll take a bit of a look at it as we go around here. So uh, it's got the standard sort of stuff. We'll come back to that in a minute, though. Uh, <clears throat> so let's take a bit of a look uh, here at what you get with a pretty standard sort of model. Yep, because we're going to, uh, yep. Uh, people often ask me actually about uh, the foundations that you need for this, foundations you get with it. Uh, well, look, <laughs> here it is. Um, I'd call that a concrete block because it is basically just a concrete block. What's it going to cost? Well, about $3.80 from Bunnings or anywhere else, really, for that matter. That's all it's going to cost you to get something like that to place your flat QB plus EPS on. Um, so what goes on with that? Well, as you may have seen before, we've got this really good solid frame. That's going to hold it all together. It's going to hold your building together. It's going to keep your building strong. Uh, attached to that, uh, we've got uh, these walls. Uh, we've got your color bond walls, 15 year warranty. Uh, so you can't ask more than that, really can you? Let's take a look um, up a little bit. Um, what do we have here? Well, this is where the power goes in. Uh, when you're actually connecting everything up with your new building, um, you're going to have electricity inside. You need to have a place for the power to go uh, inside. And there it is up there. That's our power inlet uh, there on the wall. Put it where you want. Do you want the power inlet somewhere else um, within your building? Well, go for it. That's perfectly uh, an option that you've actually got. Anywhere you want. Now, take a look further up. Here we have it. Uh, when it rains, not raining today, that's for sure. But if, when it does rain, uh, it's going to land on this lovely pitched roof. Uh, and it's going to go down. And it's going to, in this case, go into uh, that guttering. Uh, down it goes. Down pipe is there. Pretty easy to actually do that kind of thing. A few little extra bits and pieces there, but nothing really major. And um, what you're getting here is a building that's going to come in at, um, at or below around about um, 10,000. Okay, let's give you a bit of an idea about what you can actually get for uh, what I regard as a fairly reasonable, <coughs> yeah, what it's like actually inside um, a flat QB plus EPS. Okay, <coughs> so here we are. Uh, let's take a bit of a look at a few of the features uh, that um, are visible inside. Look, what we've got here, this is, <coughs> this is our EPS flooring. Now, it's floating floorboards. Okay. We're talking waterproof floating floorboards. So it's not some sort of like vinyl stuff that someone has like stuck down, a bit of like <coughs> glue on the back, bing, 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 bing. No, this is a proper floating floor. And it does come standard as part of our buildings. This is not an extra. This is a standard feature of our buildings. They come with this high quality, totally waterproof uh, floating floor, SPC floating floor. Clicked together nicely, clicked together easily, easy to put together, and that's really, I think, a very important and very valuable feature uh, that we've got. Uh, and <coughs> here we go. Uh, we've got the skirting boards, uh, we've got the architraves, and here we have it. We have the window. Look, <coughs> I actually had someone just ask me the other day, how much extra does it cost to actually get a fly screen on the window? Well, it doesn't cost. That's really the whole point. It doesn't cost. This fly screen, uh, it's a nice sort of like window like that, isn't it? Okay? Okay? And it comes with the fly screen. Sliding window with fly screen, and it's standard. You get one of those standard on every building, every standard flat QB plus EPS building that you buy. Okay? Uh, <coughs> If you get, get a sliding door from this, you're going to get a good sliding door, okay? It's going to be a good sliding door, and it's one that's going to work well for you as well. <coughs> uh, this one here, we've got another window here. Once again, we get the fire screen, we get the sliding mechanism like that. And <coughs> what do we get in every one of these buildings? Let's open this up nicely, so you can actually see. You get a proper switchboard. It's standard. You get that. It's not something you have to sort of like go down afterwards to get grab it, you know, because you haven't got the top of set of stuff that you need. And what sort of brand name do you get? What sort of quality do you get? Well, uh, it's Clipsal. It's about the standard that you're going to expect in a good quality building. We've got the LED lights here, okay? 
Um, so, <coughs> uh, again, I don't think you're going to have a lot of reason to uh, be concerned or complain about those. You're getting good quality lighting, you're getting good quality windows, you're getting good quality everything really, and you're getting good quality because you're getting something that is made here. We'll take a look at this. Uh, <coughs> this is the original thing itself. So this certifies that, yes, we're looking at something that is Australian made, okay? You're looking at an Australian made product. It's everything that's here, okay? The building that you're looking at here, this is an Australian product, and this is to certify that. And, next time you come past, which probably in about two or three weeks time from when the video is made, if you're in lockdown stage four at the moment, you're gonna be able to come past and grab one of these, okay? So it's not just some sort of like um, shopping bag, uh, it's actually a cooler bag, okay? So it's gonna keep things cool, it's gonna work for you. I've actually got one at home, uh, and I use it all the time, basically. I love it, wish I could buy another one, uh, building so I get one of these <laughs> Okay, all right, let's leave it there, okay? So, let's empty again uh, for HyperQB, and we'll see you next time.